Good evening. Good morning. Good morning. Good evening. <laughs> evening. Hello, how are you? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Do you know why we say good evening and not good night? Okay. Good night is when we are going to sleep. Okay, good evening. Good evening. Uh -huh. ¿Desde qué horas podemos empezar a decir good evening? ¿Cuándo se termina la tarde y empieza evening? De las seis de la tarde. Uh -huh. Okay, very good job. So, that's why we say evening. Right. So, that's it. That's like a difference, right? Good evening. Good night. So, I already have seven students. Ya somos siete. Muy bien. How was your weekend? ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de semana, class? How was your weekend? Was it great? Bad? Very great. Very great. Algo lluvioso. Ya, yeah, right. Lo mismo ahorita está lloviendo. No sé si en sus casas está lloviendo. Yes, right. It is raining. Eh, igual, sí, por algún inconveniente, porque ya creo que una o dos veces me pasó en cursos anteriores. Sí, por la lluvia se llega a desconectar el internet o a haber algún bajón de energía. Eh, yo voy a regresar, ok, no se desconecten, quédense ahí. O alguien de apoyo inmediatamente entra a la clase, ok? So don't worry. Recuerden que con clases virtuales a veces nos puede fallar un poquito la, la tecnología, pero no, tratamos siempre de resolverlo inmediatamente. Right. Igual so, a nosotros, que yeah. se nos va bastante, este, este día se me ha ido mucho el internet. ¿En serio? Se está, está fallando bastante. Saben que siempre que no puedan ingresar a la clase a tiempo o no vayan a ingresar, siempre pónganlo en el chat grupal, ¿ok? No aquí en WhatsApp, eh, perdón, no aquí en, en Zoom, porque esta conversación la puedo ver solo yo. Si nos vamos al chat grupal en WhatsApp, ahí pueden ver a todos que están interactuando, incluso eh, quien nos apoya en plataforma, quien revisa asistencia, están incluidos en ese chat. Así que ustedes... También ahí pueden reportar cualquier inconveniente para que quede justificado y no que eh, no se justifique y quede como ausencia a la clase sin justificación o que solo se desconectaron antes de la hora. Right. Eh, another thing, otra cosa. Siempre va a ser el mismo enlace. Para las 16 clases funciona el mismo enlace. ¿okay? O si van a ingresar con el... Eh, el código y la contraseña que les genera también se puede hacer. Siempre va a ser el mismo, no cambia. Pueden encontrarlo ahí en el chat de WhatsApp o si no lo encuentran, de igual manera solicitarlo, ¿verdad? Siempre hay una persona bien pendiente para poder ayudarnos. Right. ¿Cómo se han sentido con la plataforma? Mientras esperamos a sus compañeros. Un minuto más. Ya se van acostumbrando poquito a poquito con la plataforma, los ejercicios, ¿sí? Algunos ejercicios un poco costoso. Ay, no, yo sé, algunos puede tomar un poquito más de tiempo, otros pueden ser más rápidos, pero eh, así vamos a ir interactuando en las diferentes secciones, from section number five up to section, well, from section number one up to section number five. Y en los diferentes módulos, de igual manera van a utilizar siempre la plataforma. Es para que ustedes puedan interactuar en clases y también en plataforma. So, 13 students. Ya tenemos 13 suficientes para poder iniciar. Gracias por la puntualidad. I really appreciate that because we are always on time. So, don't forget, last week on Thursday, we were practicing numbers, numbers from one to 10. And we were practicing giving phone or cell phone numbers. So let's see, I'm going to ask four or five students right now to see if you have practiced numbers. Let's see, veamos si practicaron la pronunciación de los numbers from one to 10. Esperanza, what is your cell phone number? 
Hello. Um, my cell phone number is seven six seven seven six zero oh, four nine. Excellent job, Sylvia. Sylvia Elizabeth, what is your cell phone number? Mm, I guess your microphone. We cannot hear you. Hello. Okay, now we can go, please. My num my number telephone is uh, seven uh, seven seven six six. Six zero uh, eight six. Okay, class, do we say zero or do we say oh? Oh, ah, very good, very good job. Excellent, Silvia. Karina, Karina Alejandra, what is your cell phone number? My cell phone number is seven one nine three. Four, five, four, eight. Excellent job. Ivan, what's your cell phone number? My Ivan. cell phone number is yeah. seven, six, 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 seven, nine, nine. Wow, that was really fast. Elena, Guadalupe, Elena, what's your cell phone number? My cell phone number is seven, eight, nine, three, three, seven, three, nine. Okay, so? Very good. I guess you have been practicing giving numbers. Don't forget to practice with your family, with your friends, so you cannot forget the correct pronunciation. So let me show you what we have for today. Do you remember what class is this one? What number is this class number one, class number three? What number is this class? Who can tell me? Number five. That's great. This is class number five. And for today, we have section number three. So let me show you what are the topics for today. Here we go. This is class number five. Section number three, where are you from? Where are you from? And we are going to talk about negative statements and yes, no questions with the verb to be. Negative statements. Okay, can you give me a synonym or do you know what is an statement? Saben que es un statement in English? Who can tell me? ¿Qué es eso? What is that? Oraciones. Ah, okay, very good. This is another way of calling sentences. ¿Qué tipo de statements tenemos en inglés? What type of statements? Negativas y Afirmative, negative, and interrogative. So, cuando vean la palabra statements, no es algo diferente, es simplemente una oración. La llamamos también statements, ¿ok? So, this is just extra information. So for today we have negative sentences or negative statements and interrogative. Look, interrogative. También vamos a hacer preguntas. Yes, no, questions with the verb to be. Do you remember the verb to be? What is the verb to be? ¿Cuáles son las formas del verb to be? Um, are is. Mm -hmm. Very good job. So that is the verb to be. Miren, vamos a hacer preguntas con am, is, and are. And we are going to reply saying yes or no. So that is the topics for today. Two topics for today. It's not that difficult, you know? So let's start right now. Let's go to the platform. And after the first video, I am going to check the attendance list. Right, here we go. 
So um, here we go. Just give me a second. Okay. Section number three. This week we are going to have section number three. What is the name of section number three? Where are you from? I want you to be careful, you know, or to notice something. For this week, we have the activities from section three. And we also have the midterm exam. Right. En la sección tres tenemos el recopilado de la sección uno y dos y los temas de la sección tres. Okay. Y también los ejercicios de la sección tres. So, pueden ya irlo revisando, ver cómo están los ejercicios y lo vamos a ir completando. So, let's start with section number three today. If you see... In each section, we have different videos. The videos, you can watch them as many times as you need. So you can practice listening and you can practice the topics from each section, right? So just give me a second. Está tardando en cargar. ¿Qué le pasa a la plataforma? Nos está dejando mal. Here we go. Oh, there we go. So let's go to section three, exercise 3.1. Okay, vamos. This is a conversation. If you see, what is the topic or what is the name of section number three? ¿Cómo se llama la section number three, class? Where? Where are, are you from? Ah, where are you from? De donde from. eres? Where are you from? So, let's start with a conversation that is called Are you from Seoul? There we go. Let's listen and practice. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll listen to a conversation titled are you from Seoul? This conversation illustrates how yes, no, and WH questions are used. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. What I would like for you to do next is to practice this conversation. This conversation will become very useful for our future lessons. Okay, are you from Seoul? How do you say Seoul in English? How do you say Seoul? Seoul, let's repeat, Seoul. Seoul. Are you from, we don't say Seoul, we say Seoul. Are you from Seoul? Seoul. 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 So let me ask are you, you are you from Seoul? Are you from Seoul? Are you from Seoul? Are you from Seoul? Yes or no? Or let's change another one, an, an easier one. Are you from United States? Are you from United States? Audi, are you from United States? No. No, I'm teacher. From I'm from El Salvador. I wish, desearía, dicen. Desearía ser de Estados Unidos, but we are not. We are Salvadorian people, right? So, Carlos, Carlos Cruz, are you from United States? No. Uh, no, teacher, I am not. I Sarah, am not Sarah Elizabeth, are you from United States? No. <laughs> I'm from Salvador. <laughs> okay, but you know, necesitamos ser felices de ser salvadoreños. No, teacher, se siente ese dolor. Me dicen, no, teacher, no, I'm not. Jenny Elizabeth, are you from United States? 
No, teacher, I am not. I am from <laughs> Salvador. Okay, Jocelyn, Yvette, are you from United States? No, I am not. No, I am not. Okay. Catherine, Jasmine, are you from Brazil? No, I am not. <laughs> oh, okay, and you're not. Sofia, no. Michelle, are you from Costa Rica? No, I am not. I'm from El Salvador. Oh, interesting. Fernando Heriberto, are you from Japan? No, I am not. No, I am not. Okay. Mayra, are you from Venezuela? Oh, I am not. No, I am not. Eric Omar, are you from El Salvador? Yes, Oh, yes, teacher. I'm so, no, I am not is negative, so affirmative. ¿Cómo escribimos el afirmativo, entonces? Yes. Yes. I. I am. I am. Yes, I am. Right. So, are you from United States? No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Right, so if you see the structure here, analicemos la estructura, questions with verb to be. Miren, what is this? Esta es una de las uh, formas del verbo to be, right? So, ¿qué les dije que vamos a aprender ahora? Preguntas con el verb to be y responder sí y no. So, aquí tenemos yes and no. So, Let's go again to the platform and let's see, let's watch the conversation that we have. If you see the conversation that we have you here. from Seoul. This conversation illustrates how yes, no, and WH questions are used. Okay, listen. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. <laughs> so is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. Okay, so look at the conversation. Are you from California, Jessica? Okay, ahí quizás inmediatamente no responde yes or no. Da una respuesta larga y completa. Well, my family is in California now, but we are from Korea originally, right? So if you see, we have two different options to reply. Podemos responder en una forma corta o to give extra information, right? Of course, lo más fácil es dar respuestas cortas. Pero también podemos dar respuestas largas. Are you from California? Well, my family is in California now, but we are, or we are from Korea originally. Are you from El Salvador? Well, my family is in California now, but we are from El Salvador originally. Just to give you an idea, right? Let's see. Oh, my mother is Korean from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? Hmm? Now look, second time, Jessica is giving a complete answer or a short answer. ¿Qué está dando la segunda respuesta? Complete answer or short answer. Mm -hmm. Short, right. Short, short. Exactly. Look, hay una pregunta. La respuesta es corta. So, are you from Seoul? No, we're not. So, is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. Is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. So let's practice giving this type of information right now. Let me see. I'm going to go back to my board. Look. 
Look, are you from United States? No, I am not. Yes, I am. So let me ask you now. Now I know that you're from El Salvador. Let me ask you, are you from Sonsonate? Mm -hmm. Are you from Sonsonate? Yes or no? Cristina America, are you from Sonsonate? No, no, I am no. So, where are, or where do you live? Mm -hmm. Where do you live, America? I am from Salvador. But where specifically San in San Salvador? Ah, no, I'm not. I live in San I live in San Salvador. Salvador. You know? Podemos dar esta respuesta en nuestro contexto, right? Are you from San Sonate? No, I'm not. I live in San Salvador. Right. Aquí nos hace falta un punto. Eric David, are you from Usulután? No, I am not. I live in Cabañas. Oh, really? In Cabañas? Wow. Imagine. Tenemos a alguien de cabaña. So, no existe. Ajá. Miren esto. Live, live, live. ¿Qué sería eso? El verbo es live. Vivir, right? Live. Live. Saben que tiene dos pronunciaciones, como nombre y como verbo. A veces por eso lo ten tenemos la tendencia a confundirlo. Como nombre es live. Como verbo es live. ¿A dónde han escuchado ese live? Están haciendo un live. Dice. ¿A dónde han visto esa un palabra? Están haciendo un en vivo ah, como en los... Un en vivo en Facebook, right? So, ahí es como un nombre, un en vivo, un live. Pero como Puedo verbo... Puedo pronunciar de, de las dos maneras. De, por eso les digo, depende si es un nombre. Live. Si es como verbo, live. ¿Está claro ahorita entonces? Miren, sí. live. I live in San Salvador. No vamos a decir I live. No, I live in San Salvador. Very good job. Let me see. Who else? Natanael. Hi, Natanael. Are you from San Miguel? No, uh, I am not. Uh, San Miguel. Mm -hmm. No. So, where do you live? Uh, I live in San Salvador. Ah, okay, interesting. Sofia, Sofia Michel, are you from San No, I am not. Uh -huh. I... No, I'm not. I'm from uh, Lourdes. Oh, you live in Lourdes. Okay, now let me ask you. Sin ver la pregunta, here we go. Karina Alejandra, again, once again. Are you from Ilopango? No, I'm, I'm not. I live in San Salvador. Okay, Catherine Jasmine, are you from, I don't know, from Lourdes? <laughs> Uh, no, my, uh, I am not. I live in La Paz. In La Paz. Okay. Noemi. Hi, Noemi. Are you from... Um, ¿Qué lugar? Ayúdame clase. Where? Give me some... Are you from Usulután, Noemi? No, I am not. I live in Apopa. Oh, in Apopa. Interesting. Eunice Rivas. Are you from... Ajá, class. San Miguel. San Miguel. No, teacher. I am not. I live in Ilopango. Oh, she lives in Ilopango. Interesting. Jocelyn Ivet. Are you from Santa Tecla? No, I am not. I live, I live in La Paz. In La Paz. Okay. In, oh, she's from La Paz. Imagine. So we have people from all parts of El Salvador in this class. That's interesting, you know? 
So if you see, we have practiced giving information about the country and information about the specific place we live. Vieron, empezamos preguntando con el país. Luego, el lugar en donde viven exactamente. Right. Are you from United States? No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Are you or do you live? Are you from uh, Santa Tecla? No, I'm not. I live in San Salvador. Right? So, if you see, let's go back to the platform. We have another exercise or another video that we can watch right now. So we can continue practicing. Remember, you can practice this conversation and watch the video as many times as you want. So let's go with the explanation. Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form negative statements and yes and no questions would be. Let's start by looking at the examples on the screen. All the statements that you see are negative statements. I'm not from New York. You're not late. She's not from Russia. He's not from Italy. It's not English. We're not from Japan. You're not early. They're not in Mexico. In order to form negative statements would be you need to follow this next formula. Subject plus verb to be plus not plus complement. So let's try to make sense of this. I am not from New York. The example above, when expressed spoken, we will typically use contractions. So that's why we say I'm not from New York rather than I am not from New York. We make the contraction. Let me give another example. You are not late. Now let me talk about making questions with me. This is the structure to follow. Verb to be plus subject plus complement. We're going to take the examples from this chart. So, are you from California? And then put a question mark at the end. Am I early? Is she from? Okay. Let's stop for a while and let's go to practice. If you see, you already know how to make questions and how to give an answer saying no. Vamos a practicar. Let's go to practice. This is easy, you know. Don't forget the formula. Casi siempre nos ayuda bastante. Identificar la fórmula que necesitamos seguir. So don't forget about the formula. What do we need? ¿Qué necesitamos para hacer preguntas? What do we need to make questions? What is the formula that we need to follow? Yeah. Yeah. There we be. Subject plus complement plus everyone. Questions, questions, questions. Subject, complement. Okay. So let's go to our context. I am. Well, this is too small. Let me make it bigger. Okay. I am not from San Salvador. I am not from San Salvador. Look, negative statement. So let's see, what is the formula? Identifiquemos la formula. Subject. Plus. Verb to be. O pongámoslo en palabras fáciles. Am, is, or are. That is ever to be. Plus, negative. 
in this case is not. And then we have a complement. Complement. Mm -hmm. complement. Así formamos respuestas o preguntas, perdón, sentences, negative sentences. Am um, is are plus not plus complement. So help me out. Let's see. Let's express the same idea, but with different subjects. Misma oración, diferentes sujetos, right. Same sentence, different subjects. Okay, here we go. I, you, he, she, eat, we and they. Veamos cómo nos quedan las oraciones. La primera ya la hice yo. I am. I am. How about using you? How do you make the sentence with you? You? Are. Ah, you are. Continue, you are. You no. are not from El Salvador. Okay, very good job. You are not from El Salvador, right. How about using he, she, or it? He is. He is. Mm -hmm. He is. Mm -hmm. He is. He is what? He is. He is not. No. Not from? El Salvador, very good. How about using we and they? We and they. We am, we is, or we are? We are. We are. Oh, we are, we are. Not from El Salvador. So, there we have negative sentences about the place where we live. I am not, you are not, he, she, and it is not, we and they are not from El Salvador. Great. Questions about this. Preguntas sobre esto. Questions about this. Yeah. Questions. Preguntas sobre esta estructura. Mm -hmm. No? So let's go back. How do we make the questions then? ¿Cómo hacemos entonces la pregunta? Ya le estamos diciendo que no somos de San Salvador. ¿Cómo hago la pregunta? How do I make the question? Are you from? Mm -hmm. Are you from? Are you from? Costa Rica. Okay, interesting. So let's make the question. Let's see, ¿cómo nos queda? Let me ask a volunteer. Uh, let's see. Maritza, Maritza Elizabeth, how do we make the question? La tenemos en afirmativo, la quiero en forma de pregunta esta. This one, ¿cómo la haríamos? Any idea? Afirmative es um, afirmative. Eh, yes. Go. Eh, lo tengo que decir negativo. No, ya la tengo en negativo. ¿Cómo la hago en pregunta? Era okay, lo que este, I, I am from San Salvador. Uh -huh. I am from uh -huh. San Salvador. I am from, ah, but that is affirmative. How do we make a question? Yes, I am. No, está preguntando cómo yes, se hace from... una pregunta para la respuesta que okay. ella ha dado. Sauri, veamos, Sauri. Are you from Mexico? Bien, let's do something. Hagamos algo. Eh, yes. Sería. Yes, I am. Quedémonos con el primer ejemplo. I am not from San Salvador. ¿Qué les estaba pidiendo? 
la ¿Cómo pregunta. o cuál sería la pregunta para esta respuesta? Necesito una pregunta para ah, una respuesta. Are you from Salvador? From San Salvador. No, I'm not from San Salvador. So, okay. identifiquemos la regla. What is the structure, la estructura que necesitamos seguir in order to make questions? We need the word to be or plus subject plus complement. Complement. That's it. What can you notice? ¿Qué pueden notar? ¿Qué cambia entonces? Para hacer preguntas, la estructura. La estructura cambia. Iniciamos con el verbo to be. Right. Verb to be. Are you. No decimos you are from San Salvador. Mm -hmm. I am from San Salvador. Am I from San Salvador? Switch. Cambiamos. Right. So let me give you affirmative sentences and you make questions. Le doy oraciones afirmativas y ustedes me las convierten en preguntas. Veamos. I am from El Salvador. I am from El Salvador. Are you from El Salvador? Ah, okay, excellent. She is from United States. Is, is she from United States? Excelente, Eunice. Ustedes okay. que todo nos quede claro. Miren, es fácil hacer preguntas y convertirlas. Bueno, es fácil hacer oraciones y convertirlas en preguntas. She is from United States. Like this one. She is from United States. What is your question? Yes, I'm listening. Don't worry. Oops. I have a question. Aha, uh -huh. what is your question? What is your question? Can I say I actually live in the Urdes, but I am from San Salvador? Yes, of course it is. Idea clara, muy bien. So, miren lo que hago para convertirla en pregunta, ¿qué pasa? I need to have the verb to be at the beginning and then the subject. Una afirmativa la puedo convertir en pregunta fácilmente. I switch the order. And at the end, ¿qué me falta al final? Question mark. Le llamamos question mark. Question mark. Question de pregunta y mark, como de marca. Question mark. Look, extra vocabulary for today. Question mark. Así se dice signo de interrogación. Question mark in English. So, this is how do we create sentences. Let's continue with the practice. He is from Costa Rica. Make the question class. He is from Costa Rica. Ah. He is from Costa Rica. He is from Costa Rica. Okay. From Costa Rica. Okay. She is from Costa Rica. They are from Venezuela. Make the question. Are they from Venezuela? We are from. El Salvador. Question. Are we from El Salvador? Are we from El Salvador? They are from San Miguel. Make the question class. Are they from San Miguel? Are they from, are they from, are they from, 
Very good job. So let's continue with the practice. Preguntas. ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Sí está quedando claro lo que estamos viendo? Yes, no? Yes. So here you have some other examples. Right? Aquí lo tienen ya sin estructura. Miren. Usando R, is and am. Tomemos los tres primeros. R, you, from Sao Paulo. I am. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Am I early? Yes, you are. No, you are not. You are not. She from the U.S. She is. Now no. she is. Right. Very good job. Let me see. Ivan, can you read this one? Ivan, leamos esta, please. Eh, wait, wait, wait. Give me a second. ¿Dónde está mi cheque? Aquí está. This one. Is she from Mexico? ¿Cuáles son mis respuestas? Yes. 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 Uh -huh. no, no, he is. No, not. Very good job. Fernando Heriberto, continue, please. It, it's French. It is, it is not. Uh -huh. Aquí está, ver. Yes. Uh, yes. No. Okay. Is One more time. Not. Yes, it is. No. It's uh, not. not. It's not. Ruth Elizabeth Perez, please continue. Are you from South Korea? Mm -hmm. No. Yes, we are. are not. <coughs> yes, we no, are. We are not. And we are not. And no, we are not. not. Very good job. Esperanza, please continue with this one. Are we late? Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. And? No, you're, you're not. Okay, Eric Omar, the yeah. last one, please. Are they in Egypt? Mm -hmm. Yes, they are. Uh, no, are they you in, not. Are you in a hit? Okay. Yes, they are. Or? No, they are not. No, they are not. Very good job. So, practice with the help of your classmates and exercise. Look, what is the exercise for tonight? This is the exercise. I'm going to ask you to go and practice with your classmates making questions. Look, negative statements and yes, no questions with the bird to be. Look at number one. The instructions are on a scramble, on a scramble. What is this class? What is the meaning of this word? On a scramble. Yes, Esther, what is this? Mm -hmm. On a scramble, what is that? Any idea? What is the meaning of on a scramble? Ordenar. Ah, okay. Ordenar is the order on a scramble. A scramble is como que está revuelto, right? Desenredar algo así. On a scramble, the words to write negative statements. Look, they are not asking for questions. No nos están pidiendo preguntas. Necesitamos crear negative statements. For example, number one. Toronto, Toronto is not the capital of Canada. So that is a negative statement. So please, with the help of your classmates, you are going to create Five negative statements. Is it clear what we are going to do? Está claro lo que vamos a hacer. Is it clear? Yes. No? Yes. Sí? Are five negative statements 
with the given information. So I'm going to send this picture to WhatsApp so you can take a look at the picture and work with your classmate. So here we go. <laughs> Okay, did you did you receive the picture? Ve la picture. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes you did. So, here we go. 5 minutes to work right now. Vamos, 5 minutos. Here we go. Recuerde que puede compartir pantalla para que se haga más fácil que sus compañeros vean la imagen. Here we go. Let's go and work right now. I'm just missing Esperanza, Eunice, Elizabeth, and Jenny. Please go with your classmates. Ah, there we go. Very good. Hi, Noemi. What happened? ¿Qué pasó, Noemi? Did you have problems? No, es que me había metido al grupo, pero nadie se había metido. Y por eso regresé para revisar quiénes hacían falta. Ah, ok. Nadie había aceptado. Sí. But ahorita regreso. Okay, please. <laughs> ah, it's because Jenny is with Noemi. Jenny, sala 10. Aparece la invitación, Jenny. No? Okay, wait. A mí no me aparece. Ah, bye. Muy bien, chicas. Ahorita les ayudo. Here we go. Jenny, go to room number nine. Ahora sí, Jenny. Ah, ok, ahí está. Esperanza, go to room number 10. Ok, go. Hi, Sophie, what happened? No hay nadie en la sala 6. Ah, okay. So let me send you to room number 9. Go to room number 9. Thank you. There we go. Okay, this is a speaking uh -huh. time. Ay, ahorita la voy a compartir. Great, great. Ay. Ya estoy compartiendo, compañera. César. Ahí está. Pollita, Natanael. Uh -huh. eh, sí, pero ahí está. From Italy. Puesto. We are, we are not Mama. from Buenos Mama. Aires. Ah, es cierto. Sí, ahora, ahora sí. uh -huh. ah, mama. We are... We are not from Mama. Buenos Aires. Bye. Y la tres sería... Dice... Ahorita la tres me he perdido un poco. Quiero ver cómo es. No sé you si and dice... Ashley. Are you and Ashley... No, 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 no,
no I am not. Por ejemplo, eh, por ejemplo, eh, you are from Canadá. Sería al revés. Are you, are you, from, are you from Canada? Canada? Are you from no, Canada? No, I'm not Canada. I'm okay. from El Salvador. Ok. Eh, eh, quiero ver. Eh, are... Permítanme. Que la tía ya me puso nerviosa ahí con que está viendo, ¿no? <ríe> no, I'm just listening. Don't worry. Ok. okay. Eh, eh, por ejemplo, por ejemplo, eh, eh, Buenos Aires, no from where. Eh, teacher, eh, en Spanish, eh, usted lo que quiere es, por ejemplo, aquí en las... Eh, en los ejemplos, eh, por ejemplo, está en Buenos Aires. Eh, no from where. Eh, lo que quiere es que las convirtamos a, a, a preguntas, a forma de pregunta. Si se fijan, ya nos dan las palabras. Solo vamos a ordenarlos para convertirlas en negative statements. Solo pongámoslas oh. en orden para que tenga una idea lógica y uh -huh. sean oraciones negativas. Ok, don't worry. Solo okay. es. Ok. Ok. So don't be yeah, nervous. Yeah. No se pongan nerviosas, chicas. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay, me voy a otro grupo. Don't worry. Continue working. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> from. Ay, se acabó el tiempo. Um, no, from. No, from. It's not from. It's not from. Mm -hmm. It's no. It's no, I, it's no from my mother. My mother, Italy. My mother, my mother. Italy. Mm -hmm. huh? Sería, uh, they are, sería la otra. otra es, they, uh, they, they no, are, are, they no, they no are my They are not my parents. They are not. They. Hi, did you have problems? Uh, no. <laughs> You're just coming no, back. Yeah, we can come back, right? Yes. Casi se nos termina el tiempo. Really? Sí, We are going very fast. Very good job. <laughs> That was fast. So let's wait for your classmates. How was okay. this activity? Easy or difficult? How did you feel the activity? Easy. Easy. Wow. Easy. Okay. Yes. I'm really happy to hear that. Believe me. <laughs> yes. Because that is the idea for you to feel that English is not difficult. You know, English it's easy to learn, right? So if you see class, we have five negative sentence to write. Let me see. Number one, Toronto is not the capital of Canada. How about number two? Noemi, please help me out with number two. How do we make a sentence a negative sentence with number two. Noemi. Okay. Uh, we are not from Buenos Aires. Okay. We are not from Buenos Aires. Class, do you have the same answer or do you have a different one? The same. Teacher. Same or different? Same. Yeah. Great same. job. Excellent. Let me see. Carlos Cruz, number three is for you. I guess your microphone is not on, Carlos. There we go. Yo, yo, Ian, Ashley, I know. I'm my Klaus. 
Remember, we need the subject for. ¿Quién es el sujeto? Yo. Yo y Ashley. Okay, let's see. You and Ashley. And then what do we need? Are no. Uh -huh. Are not. In my class. Do you have the same answer or do you have a different one class? The you same. and Ashley the are same. not in my class. The same? the same? Yes. Okay, interesting. Same answer. Jasmine, Catherine Jasmine, continue with number four, please. Remember, subject, verb to be, not in complement. Go. My first language mm -hmm. is not Korean. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's write like this. My first mm -hmm. language is not Korean. Korean. Do you have the same or do you have a different answer in class? Different. Same. Ah, different. Yes. Who said different? Okay, let me know what is your, your sentence, please. Korea, Korean is not my first language. No. Korean is not my first language. So which one is correct? ¿Cuál es la correcta? ¿La primera o la segunda? Or what Both do you think? Both, right. La exactly. If you see... Seguimos la misma estructura. Sujeto, my first language. Verbo to be, is, not. And then we have the complement, Korean. So, this is okay. Korean is not my first language. This is okay as well. So, both, ambas, both are correct. Okay, Correct. thank you. Yes, very good job. So don't, don't be afraid. Very good job. Um, let me see. I'm still missing number five and number six. ¿Quién le preguntamos ahora? Let me see. Volunteers. I need two volunteers. Just two volunteers. Sofia. <laughs> yes. Okay, Sofia is the first one who said me. <laughs> Michelle, Sofia Michelle. My mother is actor. My mother is not from Italy. Okay, subject. My mother, verb to be, is not, and then complement from from Korea. Italy. No, Italy, right? Korea. Now more Korea. Do you have the same answer or do you have different class? The same. The same. The same. Very good job. Same answer. How about the last one? Who say me, teacher? I want to participate. Who said me? Yes? Karina, please. Um, Karina Alejandra. Oops, they wait. are not my parents. Wait, 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 wait. Let me go back. I stand. Yes. They Can you repeat that again? They are not they my are not, okay. They, capital letter, they, virtually all are not my, oh, they are not my parents. Imagine, they are not my parents. So, they are not my parents, it's okay. Do you have the same answer or do you have a different one? Same or the different? Same, the same. The same ideas, right. So, don't forget, here you have the information about how to make negative statement. Remember, um, we are going to use B, am is are, and not. Right? To form negative statements. And the example is, Anna is not a student, or Anna isn't a student. No podemos ponerlo en otro orden. No podemos decir, Ana no is a student. No. First, we need the verb to be, and then, no. 
you is a singular and a plural pronoun. Are you from Rio? Yes, I am. Yes, we are. Oh, this is interesting. El pronombre you puede ser para singular y para plural. Miren, you. For example, my students. Puedo poner esta idea. You are my students. Ustedes son mis estudiantes. Me refiero a todos. O puedo decir, Sara, you are my students. Singular. Miren. Singular y plural. Entonces, you puede ser para singular y para plural. Right. ¿Cómo voy a saber si me están diciendo en singular o plural? Depende del contexto. Questions about this exercise or how do you feel? ¿Cómo se sienten haciendo negative statements with the verb to be? How do you feel with that topic? Excuse me, I have a question. Please. Number three is correct format. Can you read number three? Mm -hmm. Yeah, is, is correct, the form. Okay, but can you read number three again, please? Puede leer número tres, otra vez, para ver si está correcto o no. Please. You and Ashley are not in my class. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál era? You and Ashley. Yes, it's correct. Are not in my class. Mm -hmm. So yes, it is correct in that way. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Bien, clase. Decimos here or present. Tomamos asistencia. Auri Joana. Present. Cristina América. Present. Delmis Elizabeth. Present. Eric David. Present. Okay. Eric Omar. Present. Fernando Heriberto. Present. Guadalupe Elena. Present. Iván Alexander. Jenny Elizabeth. Present. Karen Present. Present. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry. Sorry. Karen Jamile. Jamile. Karina Alejandra. Present. Catherine Jasmine. Present. Lillian Abigail. Mayra Xiomara. Present. Maritza Elizabeth. Present, teacher. Natanael Adonai. Okay, Noemí Esperanza. Present. Oscar Rolando. Rosa Karina. Ruth Elizabeth Pérez. Present. Santos Carlos Cruz. Present. Okay. Sara Elizabeth. Present. Sara Irania. Silvia Elizabeth. Present. Sofía Michelle. Present. Susana Elizabeth. Toyita Eunice Rivas. Your teacher. Yesenia Carolina. Jocelyn Yvette. Present. Soy la Esperanza. Present. Very good job. So class, we are going to stop the class here. Don't forget to practice. And we are going to meet tomorrow, okay? Have a great night. Thank you for coming. Gracias por venir clases. Nos vemos mañana. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye. 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 B